Lego Worlds is an incredible game. It's like having an endless bucket of Legos. You can build a huge castle or a small house in the clouds. Learn how to design and create your own world with me in this tutorial series. Become a master designer slash builder. In this series, you'll learn how to design and build many different architectural styles. We'll cover lighting, furnishing, and decorating interior and exterior spaces. We'll build castles, dungeons, bridges, skyscrapers, and even a spaceship. So get your game ready and follow along. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Designing and Building in LEGO Worlds. I'm Brandon, this is Max. In the last episode, we started building this incredible saloon. It is a themed restaurant in the lobby of our beautiful hotel that we are building for you guys, for the viewers. In this episode, we're going to finish building the saloon. And yeah, it's going to be amazing. Right, Max? Yeah? <laughs> well, apparently he's giving grass to horses. I don't know why he's doing that. Max, we got to get to work. All right, let's get started. One of you guys pointed out that you actually have to shoot the chandeliers with a weapon to get them to turn on. I tried punching them, but nothing happened. So apparently we have to shoot them. So Max has got his pistol out and we're going to aim and shoot. <gasps> that is so cool. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't want really to have to do that every time we want them to turn on, but that's cool though. I like that. That's very, uh, very in theme for this saloon. Let's do this one now. Yes, that's awesome. It should be a lot brighter in here at night now. So we have this big open space right back here behind the main bar. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to copy the section that we already put in here and we're going to mirror it so that this bar faces the other direction on this side and we have a whole nother space in here that's very similar to this one. That way we will have twice the space in here for all the LEGO citizens that want to come down here and hang out in the saloon. The next thing we want to do is push this wall right here back to the very back wall because we have this space right in here between the back wall and the back wall of the back wall of the hotel and the back wall of the saloon. But we want to reclaim some of that space. We're just going to remove this wall here and build a new wall on the back one here that matches the rest of the saloon. We're going to create a similar look on the back wall that you see on the stairs right here. So to do that, we're going to use the 1x2 Palisade brick in the reddish brown color. Now we're going to use the one by one plate in this earth green color to finish off the window sills.
The whole idea of working on this back wall is to make the whole space look like everything sort of belongs in the same space. You wouldn't want to have a giant white wall with black windows on one side and then a saloon on the other. So we're just making some adjustments to the back wall so that it looks like the rest of the space. The next thing we want to do is remove this wall here next to the stairs and we're going to push it back against this wall here. There's a little bit of a space right here between the stairs and that wall and we want to reclaim some of that space. Then we'll make the stairs a little bit wider and then this will be the back wall. We can't match this color with any of the available colors that we have to build with, but we probably can paint it the right color after we build it. So for now, we're just going to build it in a similar color, and that is the Earth Orange. Before we keep building this wall up, I want to go ahead and fill in this hole right up here in the ceiling. We're going to use the 1x3 brick in this reddish brown color. Next we're going to use the 1x3 inverted slope to fill in the other spaces. Now we'll extend these beams here with the one by one brick. That looks great. All right, now we're going to continue building up these walls.
Now we have this sort of odd space back here on the second level where there are some windows here on the floor. And instead of trying to frame out the windows, we're just going to go ahead and cover them up since you really can't tell from the outside of the building here that there's anything in front of the windows. To cover up this wall over here, we're going to do something that's very similar to this right here so we can carry this look throughout the room. So we're going to create a portion of stripes right here on the upper part of the wall and then we're also going to create this reddish section with the dividing line here on this part of the wall. Alright guys, the saloon is looking pretty awesome. Look at this. How cool is this? Nice and bright. We got some bright chandeliers and we have two identical rooms just like this on either side of the saloon and you can enter through the awesome saloon doors and you can hang out and have this sweet 
locally brewed delicious Lego punch. <laughs> and you can hang out with your other friends from Ivory City in the tower. All right, guys, that is about all we have time in this episode. Got a lot done. Got a little more to do in the next one on the saloon. But then we are going to also work on the exterior of the hotel. We're going to be done in just a few more episodes with the hotel and we can get all of you guys moved in to your rooms. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to follow Max's amazing adventures in LEGO worlds and designing and building in LEGO worlds, then please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye. Mm-hmm.